One of the problems of using autologous uh, immune cells for treating uh, tumors is the lack of a sufficient number of tumor reactive T cells and often these tumor reactive T cells are dysfunctional or exhausted. So the strategies to get around this is to redirect T cells and there are two strategies that can be applied. One are the CAR T cells and the other one the bispecific antibodies. The advantage of the bispecific antibodies is of course that they are off the shelf product so they can be used very rapidly in a patient whereas the CAR T cells need leukophoresis, production of the cells, gene transduction and coming back and often it takes six to eight weeks until the CAR T cells are actually available for a patient. So that's one of the advantages of the bispecific antibodies. Um, there are different formats um, and different formats are being tested in the clinic at the moment. So for example, Amgen has uh, two BCMA specific bispecifics, AMG420 and AMG701, that are both in, in, in clinical trials. One of the clinical trials has already been uh, um, uh, completed, that's the AMG420, and that study showed a very high response rate in the MTD level of 400 micrograms per day with 70% responses and 50% MRD negative CR. So it's a, it's a very effective um, um, agent. The problem is that at the moment it's uh, administered as a continuous infusion, so four weeks on, four weeks off, and the whole treatment can go over 10 cycles or more than one year. And so at the moment there is um, some discussion about how to, to make the bispecific antibody more patient friendly and that's probably uh, going to be the, the bispecific antibody with the longer half-life. There are also other companies um, producing um, bispecific antibodies so in, in the whole we have about 11 bispecifics from Celgene from uh, um, Janssen, uh, uh, Regeneron, and also other companies that are being explored in the setting of patients with uh, multiple myeloma. And I think this is clearly indicating that this is a very interesting approach and I think we can be very optimistic about the future of biospecific antibodies in the field of multiple myeloma.